Hello, what's going on? How are you? Old subscribers, new subscribers. I appreciate all of you. What's going on? I'm in Palm Springs. I'm in the middle of the desert. For a Toronto boy who grew up in a bustling metropolis, I love the desert. I feel more at home here than anywhere else. I can't wait to get out deep into the desert where I'm filming lots of stuff. That's where I'm headed for the next few days and it's gonna be amazing. Look at these, oh, uh, you can't, well, look at this. No, you can't see it. I was gonna show you something, but you can't see it right now. Anyway, well, over there, I'll show you some clips of the mountains. You'll see, well, you know what, subscribe to my channel, you can see more of them, but I'm surrounded by the mountains. But I'm in the middle of the cemetery right now a cemetery and who am I here for well you read the title so you know that and it is of course oh Frankie Sinatra do you know that song by the avalanches called Frankie Sinatra that's a great song ah Frankie Sinatra ah Frankie Sinatra Frankie me boy something something you have a perfect voice to sing Calypso it's a great song <sighs> Frank Sinatra is a legend you know that, I know that, we all know that. His grave is here. I've been out here before. Here's an old picture of me at his grave. Look at this. So I've been here before. That was about seven years ago. Yep, I used to have hair here. And then I got talked into shaving it. Well, that's what cults do. That's what they talk into doing. Now, there you go. Look at those mountains. Look at them. Are you looking? Look at the clouds above them, or be beside them, beyond them, above them, around them, settling in, and there's snow. It's hot right now, but there's snow up there. That just warps my mind. Plays with your head when you see snow, but you're standing in heat. And yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie in the heat. Hoodie in the heat. It's a good name for my rap album, Hoodie in the Heat. But I believe his grave is around here somewhere, and I'm gonna show it to you. Now, if you came to this channel for the first time and you're saying, hey man, stop talking, get to the subject matter. Look, I do most of the time, but right now I'm just kind of talking as I'm walking. And sometimes I'll do that. But at least I'm talking about the subject matter. Sometimes I talk about something completely different. I think I found Frank's grave. I think it must be the one with the flowers. Let's see. Right over here. I think that might be Frank. Well, that's Barbara. So that means this would be Frank. The best is yet to come. Francis Albert Sinatra, beloved husband and father. Beautiful flowers left. And his wife who just died last year. A voice for children. Barbara Ann Sinatra, beloved wife, mother, and grandmother. Now, perhaps somebody can tell me, because it says beloved husband and father, beloved wife, mother, and grandmother. How come it doesn't say grandfather here? Did he? He's got some grandkids, doesn't he? Maybe I guess he just did it. I mean, 1998, and the thing to put it on. Or did she have, I know that, Barbara Ann was his second or third wife. He's married to Mia Farrow, I'm not sure who else. So maybe she had children with someone else? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. It's funny, you think about the thousands of people that saw him in concert and that would uh, line up to see his movies, and I always think that when I see somebody this famous, I mean, Frank Sinatra was so massively famous, the leader of the Rat Pack, movie star, singer, like the biggest entertainer maybe of all time, other than Elvis. 
Wouldn't you say Frank Sinatra's probably right? I mean, he's up there. Got better than the top three, top four, top five. I always even think there must be going to be a, tons of people at his grave all the time, but it's just myself out here right now. Saw a couple of other people, a couple of ladies here. They were checking out the grave. But I guess it's just a grave. But people do come out here all the time, and I was told that it's a, it's a big tourist attraction here. Bring a little rock. Just a little one to leave for Frank. That I like to do. I forgot, Barbara, I'm sorry. But look, there's a rock here. I'll put that there. My friend Steve that lives here in Palm Springs that I've been hanging out with, uh, he did say that there's fresh flowers all the time here. Now, I don't know who, if it's fans or if it's uh, family or something that's been ordered, pre-ordered. I have always fresh flowers out here. But if you come to the cemetery, this is uh, an easy way to find Frank's and Barbara's grave is to, oh, Natalie Sinatra is here, beloved wife, grandmother. So I guess, and beloved husband, father, Anthony Martin Sinatra. So I guess these are Frank's parents. I think Anthony and Natalie, you tell me, I'll show you. Uh, just go to where the office is and walk straight ahead, look for the flowers. It's pretty easy. Let's take a look at, I, I believe these are his parents. Natalie Sinatra. And if I'm not mistaken, when I was here, now Vincent Mazzola, the, I don't know, now one of Frank's best friends is buried here. I should have checked that out before I came, but one of Frank's friends is right here. Uh, I can't remember, maybe that's it, Vincent Mazzola. Somebody did tell me, and I, we, when I was here with my friend John a few years ago, like seven years ago, said, he said, yeah, that's his friend. So I maybe, now I forget where the hell, huh. So there's Frank, Francis Albert Sinatra, and his beloved wife, Barbara. Right here in Palm Springs. This is Cathedral City, actually. She's just, uh, I guess east, southeast, southeast, roughly, of uh, Palm Springs. And thanks to Steve, the graveyard guy, because he's gotten to know me pretty well. He knows that <laughs> I tend to not rely on GPS, and uh, I go by memory, which is just a, it's so it's such a guy thing. Like, I, I, I find out the address of a place, I look on a map and go, okay, it's there. And I figure I'm gonna make it there without relying on GPS to tell me how to get there exactly. And I get lost every time. He gives me always, in, he gave me exact directions like to his place, to this restaurant, to that place that we've been meeting. And he gave me exact directions how to get here. And halfway through, I start panicking, thinking, no, this is wrong, this is wrong. And I start to calm down, I think about his directions. And I'm right here. So thanks to Steve, the graveyard guy. Check out his channel. See, he gave me good directions. And isn't that what it's all about? I was just about to leave, and you know what I remembered? His friend, the name is Jilly Rizzo, and Jilly Rizzo was his best friend. Mazzolo is his uncle. Jilly Rizzo was Frank's best friend. And he's somewhere around here. And there's someone else buried in the cemetery that I totally forgot about too. I know Zsa, Zsa Gabor's sister, not Ava, one of the other sisters is buried here. Uh, but I'm gonna show you Jilly Rizzo's grave, which was Frank's best friend. But where, okay, yeah, yeah, that okay, I'm gonna show you Jilly Rizzo. Jilly Rizzo. Where is it? Come on. Nice meeting you too. So this is this is Barbara Barbara Sinatra's mother, the pointer. No, I think that's her name, Blakely. Blakely. I'm not sure though. 1907. Yeah, yeah so yeah, that makes sense. 
Charles Willis Blakely. Yeah, just last year. So this should be, this, the lady here is telling me this is uh, Barbara Sinatra's parents. Pardon me? Me too. I was just listening to him on the way over. Gosh. Sometimes I leave and, and his songs, he's singing on my radio. Yeah. It's nice. He's a beautiful voice. Yeah, I miss him. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. A very lovely woman. Giving me some information there. She comes out here. Good night. Bye bye. There she goes. Uh, I always say good night in the middle of the day. Uh, she comes out here. She's a big Frank Sinatra fan. And she was telling me about Jilly Rizzo, about his death. Apparently he was leaving Frank Sinatra's birthday party and was hit by a drunk driver and killed in a very horrific car accident in Palm Desert. <sighs> oh my goodness. That's absolutely terrible. So, I'm gonna go show you one last uh, grave while I'm here. Okay? Let's go. Come along now, come along. I want to be a part of it. Palm Springs, Palm Springs. I want to wake up when the mountains are covered in snow. But there's heat on the ground. I'm sweating through my tea. It's really hot. Oh, poor me. I'm looking for Sonny Bono. Oh, where's Sonny Bono's grave? I know it's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna hit that note. Okay, Sonny Bono is around here somewhere. Sonny Bono was Sonny and Cher. He was uh, a musician. He was mayor of Palm Springs, I believe, right? And he died in a tragic skiing accident. He skied into a tree. Is there is a tree behind me? I don't think they would bury him behind, beside a tree. That wouldn't make sense. Now, where, that'd be ironic. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> Sonny Bono, please make yourself known. Where are you? I saw it in the corner of my eye because I remembered it. And it's his signature, right here. He's buried beside his mother. Here's Sonny Bono, right here. Sonny Bono, 1935 to 1998. And the beat goes on. That's awesome. And that's a great song. What a groove to that song. It's so minimal. The song and even the way it's singing is very almost monotone. It's just a great, ah, oh, such a cool song. And the beat goes on. Gene Bono. Bono. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to it because I'm a YouTube fan. He's just saying Bono. Oh, she died seven years after her son. That's sad. There you go. Sonny Bono. Gene Bono. Sonny Bono had style, didn't he? Check out some of these old outfits. Right? Sonny Bono had style. And Frank, probably the coolest cat in the history of show business. He had style. I couldn't get away with a hat like that. Ah, oh, Frank. All right. From me to you, peace, love. Where am I going next? Well, you'll have to tune in. And by tuning in, I mean, wait for a notification if you subscribe or just keep checking the channel all the time, but just subscribe makes it easier. Get notifications. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. All right, peace.